Okay. Oh, <gasps> we, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> we again have two different videos going. So, Angela's what? And Abby Bliss White used to. Yay. Good morning. Good morning, Yay. my friend. Um, hello, everyone. We are so excited. I am here with my dear friend, the owner of Lux Atelier, Angela Morgan. Um, and we just had some fun stuff that we thought we would pop on today because we're a little bit obsessed about all things. And, yeah, all things. And we're like, ah, oh. um, <laughs> Perfume head, perfume new head. lippies. Um, we just have some fun things. So we thought, hi, Andy. Oh, good. Hi, Cal. Um, good morning, Alina. Thank you guys for showing up. So we just thought we would have a little fun this morning, kind of just sharing things that we've been a little bit obsessed with. Obsessed with. That's um, a good word. Yeah, obsessed. Like when we get excited about things. <laughs> um, yeah. We really get excited. So um, we just thought it'd be fun to kind of dive in. And if you um, basically you want to tell your um, your obsession so, and then how I went down the rabbit. Correct. Yes. Yeah. So anytime <laughs> I, so I'm not a perfume head at all. Well, that's funny because that's the name of the perfume. She, but she's, a, she's getting, she's going down the rabbit. Right, I'm going down the rabbit. I'm sorry. So anytime I find a perfume or find something, I will text Abby. She's like the first person I'll text. Like, do you know about this? I should know better than now that Abby doesn't know a perfume out there. Yeah. Sometimes I'm like, have you heard of this? And of course she's like, yeah, I've heard of it. <laughs> so when Marissa and I, my sweet esthetician here at Lux Atelier, we're in LA, we went into Violet Gray. We found this line of perfumes, <laughs> perfume head. And her and I are both not perfume people at all. Meaning we have Baccarat. We fell in love with Baccarat. Um, but we wouldn't look at ourselves as perfume connoisseurs. I don't really know much about it. I don't know the notes. So that's another fun thing about today is that I actually haven't smelt any of these perfumes since I was in LA. And so I think it would be fun as kind of a lay person to go back through and say what I think the yeah. scents smell like. And they all have an um, an aura or some sense back yeah. to LA. That's Daniel Patrick Giles, the one who the founder of Perfume Head. That's his whole. Pers it's like the whole backstory of, of these perfumes yep. is like yep. places in LA, and I felt like he captured the essence so. See, and you know LA a lot better than I know. Well, I, I have. Yeah, I've spent a lot more time in LA the last couple of years, um, but I kind of have one little pocket of LA I go to. So I don't, um, I can't say that I'm a LA so, snob or so that I know much about I have it. lived in LA twice. See? So, and then now my daughter goes to college there. And yep. so we have fun little trips down there. So anyways, so some of this was so fun and we both, Violet Gray is this very little niche, little curated, um, beauty, emporium. Like makeup. It's, little... yeah. it's literally like they take all of the brands, but they take the best of the best Hi, of Maddie. those brands. Um, and so you go in and it's like, okay, they've already done the research for you of the best of the best of yeah. 111 or the best of the best of Charlotte Tilbury yeah. or the best of the best when it comes to perfume, because obviously they are carrying perfume head. So yeah. So, so where, oh, go ahead. So, so no, I've been looking online going, Ooh, and then I have some fellow frag heads who've been like, Ooh, have you heard about perfume head, Janet? No. <laughs> um, and then I was like, Ooh, it's only in LA at Violet Gray. And then they went gaga over this. No, you, you, you guys. Nuts. And she like texted me from the hotel room. She's like, ah, um, no, I think I texted you from Violet Gray. Like oh, we were you? at Violet Gray still. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. She's sending me pictures. I was like, I've been dying. Tell me all about it. Um, so needless to say, we thought I'm a little bit obsessed. And um, oh, you guys are sweet. Uh, so I'm a little bit obsessed. And I thought what we would do is walk through because I did a video on an overview because right now it's just exclusive to Violet Gray and they will be getting sample sets, but they don't sell those right now. So I feel like it's a little disservice for the people. Like we're giving you just a little entree because these really are super special. Um, these are like hand poured. Like the whole presentation is like old school Hollywood mm -hmm. glamour. 
Well, and they only pour 50 at a time. Yes. So they're handmade. Yes. And then on the box, what is so, oh, where's the back? Oh, I the know, box. I, on, I, it, they will literally write, handwrite, which number of the batch. So like box 32 of 50. Yes. And so it's just very lush. Luxury. It's, it's very luxurious. I had 30 and 14, I think, oh. um, my bottle. They had okay. the covers on there. Yeah. So he imported, it's also vegan. Um, these are parfum extracts, so they are a little is going to go um, a long way. And it's just, ah, um, <laughs> and I have to say, they're all, well, okay, but I was going to say, they're all really amazing and they're just different. I thought we'd have her walk through and give her a So you're going to give the actual notes of it. I'm going to smell it and tell you from a lay nose of somebody who doesn't really wear perfume every day and is not a big perfume, but I've fallen in love. Like I'm mesmerized. That's the whole thing about yeah, this. So. Mesmerized and I'm the junkie, you guys know. So, um, where do we okay, start? So, yeah, you want to go down? No, the I don't know. Where do okay. we start? Let's start with the, we'll do, we'll start with um, co Cosmic, Cosmic Cowboy. Cowboy. Okay. okay. And again, here's the bottle. And Cosmic Cowboy is going to be a spicy. Mm -hmm. Under the mm -hmm. spicy category, this is the one that Daniel kind of created for himself. He likes kind of musky um, scents. And this one is inspired by partying. <laughs> I'm like, I don't, I don't even know. I can't. I don't know. 70s on the Sunset Strip. Okay. So a little bit boozy debauchery but it's funny i when i'm saying this that isn't what i got from it so just as a um, I, I can't even tell you what i get from it i don't because i'm yeah. musky yes it's musky but it's not like deep men woodsy musky mm -hmm. it's very like light and yeah. fresh musk yes so and that's so coming the from way that it was described because it has like whiskey a go-go in here oh, of, whiskey -go -go. at like like boozy mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. and like I, but I personally thought that it is very, it had some freshness to mm -hmm. it and it really comes down on the skin feeling, smelling very, um, I, there's a element of freshness in it that I wasn't expecting from reading the notes. So, but also I, everybody's chemistry is going to be a little bit different. That's also the glory of this too. So I will say that Marissa and I tried them on when we were at Violet Gray. Marissa purchased Canadian tuxedo. I have yet to purchase my first. Um, I'm going to today. I just wanted to make sure that the one that I remember when I was in LA is truly the one that I want to grab today, order from Violet Gray. Um, but all we could do all night was smell our wrists like so much so that we were at dinner and we were like, we kept smelling ourselves and yeah. she had on something different than I had on. And so what we were smelling were two totally, you know, like I, she was in her own world with Canadian tuxedo. I was in my own world with somewhere and just, we just joked that people were going to be looking at us like, what are those women doing? We didn't want to shower that night. Like, yeah, like we do. don't want to shower and take it off. And well, okay. And one thing I have to say, so because these are a kind of clean perfume as somebody who's tried a lot of clean perfumes, the complaint tends to be that they dissipate and they don't stay with you because they don't have the staying power. Okay. Some of the well, perfumes. they stayed all night with they, us. They, they literally, these are like, I put both of these on the, the little power combo here. And I was like, wow. Like, and my husband walked into the house. He's like, whoa, something smells really good. Like, oh, that's good. Um, but it's not, I don't want you to think like it's overpowering. Like he was just more like, yeah, it, yeah. it is permeating yeah. the room. Okay. okay. So, so Cosmic Cowboy, I like. Okay. So really there, like. There's cinnamon bark in here, orris butter, whiskey, a go-go, angelica root, tobacco, amber. Oh, I can smell the tobacco. Yeah. That's a little that, tobacco I can smell that. Mm -hmm. and a sexy musk. So. They, um, so the first one they were going crazy over was Canadian tuxedo. tuxedo yes. Yeah. So this is Marissa's like be all end all. And I have to say, yeah, this mm. one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That smells. This is it takes me back to LA. This takes me back yes, to LA. Though, when we, were, yes. we went and had dinner on Melrose that night after Violet Gray. And I just, I could, it could take, it literally takes me back to that restaurant that we were at that night. And I love the Canadian tuxedo because it's, I love amber scents. Okay. So this is sort of a relaxed amber scent. I love the way it's sort of described as 
being in your like most comfortable broken in jeans that just feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. Like when I think of LA style, um, I loved living there because I didn't really have to wear shoes. You can just put on your sandals or you flip. Okay, I could see how mixing these is the magic combo. It's the magic combo because they're, they're exquisite on their own, but when they say the magic combo, that smells good. It, it is so amazing because I think it's like a sexy musk on top of this really beautiful. You know what fabric. I love about these yeah. is that this isn't the type of scent that when someone walks by you, you're like, whoa, no, no, like, no, no, no. what is that person wearing? Like, this is and you can just smell somebody where the perfume smells good, but it's just a lot too much. And yeah. I don't feel like this is any of those. That's what I think is making it special. Mm, it's got this. presence, but it is going to very much mesh with yeah. you and become you. And it's not going to be like, oh, you're wearing perfume. You're going to be like, oh, you smell good. Yeah. What's so fun <laughs> about this too, and, and if you know anything about me and are learning anything about me with my business or with myself, I love exclusivity. I don't want to have something that everybody in the world has. Um now I say that, but I also have Baccarat at home. And so I know everybody's got Baccarat <laughs> or like Dior Lip Glow. Like hey, we everybody love in the world. All. So we love but it. But I just love the sense of a little bit of exclusivity with this. Yeah. I love that. And and this one also, my I my one of my favorite notes is Tonka Bean, which I feel Canadian tuxedo. This, like mm -hmm. rich kind of resin. I don't know. There's something I just love about it. Mm -hmm. And so this one has that. It has, let me just give you some more notes for those of you that are not. Um, Oh, here we are. Okay. A little bit of orange flower, coriander. There's cumin, which is something that normally I do not necessarily like on my particular skin. There's that would have that would have to be so down the list. It's I don't like, smell this I was smell cumin. Say, yeah. these, it's like mm. this is the these I are smell all a little spice, but it's not smooth operator. Like I what? call them smooth, meaning you can't like Oh, there's the cumin. No, yeah, you know, because no. that can honestly, I know other people who uh, they, it can be a little. Yeah. yeah no, you yeah. don't smell that in there no. at all. But. Um, and balsam, patchouli, cedar oh. wood. Mandy's on here. She's mm. my patchouli head. Okay. Um, so many of these, Mandy, you're going to go bonkers over. Yeah. <laughs> She's like. Oh. She's the one who smelled them in LA. She hasn't smelled oh, okay. that. No. Okay. No. Um, but anyway, so the magic combo afterwards, then there's somebody who wrote this article that we have to, it's so cute, is that they did the magic combo. Oh, yeah. I think I read this article. Yeah. 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 And she literally was wearing this combo and got like seven, you know, dates or, or, oh. or what did she what did you read about it's like i thought it was just like seven comp like yeah seven, seven people asked her what she was yep. wearing or it, it was like or asked for her number or something i don't oh. know she, she it was like really cute and anybody like, who needs I, a date yeah grab some perfume we don't, i don't need that i don't need a, i don't need a date either <laughs> but i'm just saying anybody who needs a date i think it was more that it was like oh and then after talking to jacqueline jacqueline at violet gray she was like yeah this is like crazy combo like you're gonna go bonkers and so um those two are so gorgeous mm -hmm. but i would the rest of them are really special so i kind of want to just okay. go down i gotta go to somewhere yeah because this somewhere is the one is the one this is the one that i fell in love with in LA, it's, the one that I was smelling my wrist all night, and I haven't smelt it since that night. So, and this is going to be a fresh fragrance. Oh yeah, hands down. <laughs> yep, this is it. This 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 is it. So different than those, though. Yeah, so different. Those no are, spice. This is going to be those two are spicy. Mm. This is going to be your fresh with some lush floor. Like, but it's you know not what? fresh, like because I told you I like more yeah. vanillas, more like warms. I'm not a big florally person. So if this has any florals in it though, it it it's all if you're not a floral person. No. Yeah. It's this it's one has fresh, but I don't know. It's obsessed. got this one has neroli mm, and yeah. Japani in it. And it's got this. Mm. I guess they wouldn't say this is because it's a fresh fragrance, but they describe it as you're out sunbathing, like you're, you know, in some kind of hidden tropical oasis, but within LA, you know what I mean? So it's not gonna be like your this one is so i don't want to say the beach no no i don't want to mm -hmm. say the beach no but, but i don't know but where you're feeling, at i feel like it was more like that feeling of having that warm sun now remember it's, this is totally like a, you walk outside this is so corny of me but like i could see myself fresh like 
fresh out of getting ready for the day. I've got my handbag on. I'm walking out the door for the first time and the sun hits you for yes. the first time. And it's that warm spring sun and it just hits you. And That's remember, this. both of us are here in the Pacific Northwest. And so when the sun is out, we're like, oh, like, you know. Oh, I told my kids yesterday, I was like, <laughs> go outside and put your face in the sun. That is so good. That's what I'm ordering. It's so good. That's what I'm it's, ordering. That's what I'm going to say it is. It's um, like the first day of spring when you walk outside yeah. and the sun hits you and that warmth hits you. I love it. Mm. What are the notes on this? That one. Um, this one is going to be second skin bergamot, which is one of my favorites. It's going to mm. be fresh, blood orange, dewy palm, lemon blossom, neroli, frangipani, palo santo, patchouli, sandalwood. So some creaminess mm -hmm. and skin musk. That's so crazy because I usually don't like patchouli. I, I veer away from but, anything, but, but this doesn't she, smell like patchouli. But this she doesn't says have this, that yet. But she likes it. <laughs> <laughs> she knows me more than I know myself. She goes, You say that, um, but everything you like. Everybody is says, You guys, I used to mm. say it too that I didn't like patchouli, but it's in a lot of fragrances and it literally is like a base that's going to, you know, it can be fresh a little bit. Earthy. I want to know. It's very addictive. I want to know what Daniel inspired this one by. I think it's on his website. Is it? I think it's 3 p.m. actually. Yeah. I lied because they have time. He yes. has times of the day and this is like a 3 p.m. But I don't. I'm going to disagree. Now, granted, I am not the founder of this brand, so he can <laughs> throw me out the window on this one. But this is like. This is like 9 a.m. on the first day of spring. And it's in Oregon. Really good. First yeah, day of in spring. Oregon, yeah. <laughs> this Oregon. is called, the name is called Somewhere. And it was funny because she was texting me, Somewhere, Somewhere. And I was like, what? Where, like, you where are you at? Somewhere, where? Because I, I said, which one do you love? Which one? So it's Somewhere is the name. For well, this right. One. Well, this one is 9 a.m. in Oregon on a spring day. That's <laughs> so Somewhere. Good. So um, and I think the mm. other thing is it's got... Oh, can you repeat? This is some, some yeah. we just said about 12 times. The name of the this one that we're smelling, the fresh one, is the name is Somewhere. Mm. That's going in the cart today. Yeah, you're getting that one. Oh, yeah. I knew it. 100%. I was like... 100%. Okay, so I'm now okay. we're going to go to her second choice, well, which I... That I think was my second choice. Remember, that okay. night. So here's the thing. This is going to be the opposite oh, of... Boy. This okay. the next one is room number, and this one is in the Ooh. woody genre. Very like this is not what it smells like, and people don't take it. It's almost like fire, like smoke. Yeah, like smoke. I it can smell like if you go, if you smell too much, there's like a smoke yeah. at the end, but and not like you just sit around a campfire type smoke. No, no, no. It's this one is like sexy yeah. little beast. So I was like laughing because she said this, and then I was reading the other one. I was like, this is a, like, this is like to me Friday night, yeah, 10 this, p.m. Yeah. going to a, to like a nice dark bar to get a whiskey sour. Yes, I don't see? even drink whiskey. But no, but that, okay. Oh, and this one has really. this note of nutmeg and I feel like you oh, can that, yeah. smell that orris butter. I don't know. So is, Oris okay. is going to be like this creamy, like iris, but it's the bulb of the oris. Okay. And okay. So it's going to add this like kind of creamy, a little nuttiness, um, has bergamot. And this one is what you would be doing behind closed doors. At the I told like it's dark. I was like, Chateau it's dark. Chateau that's all I can think of. Yeah, like, yeah. So this one is going to be, um, that's why you, you, so you pick one. Well, Marissa's like, here. You guys are hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you know we go crazy, right, guys? Yeah. Marissa, so, you should be here, too, giving us your two cents. This one has black tea. So for those of you that love, like, tea scents, I think that was the other thing. Um, it's got a touch okay. of leather, vanilla, musk. I don't know if I smell the vanilla. I can't the smell the vanilla. vanilla. I don't smell the vanilla. But I, I smell the leather in here. Like, this yeah, one that, is, like, very, like. Like a smoke, like smoky. a campfire. But I think I love it. It's behind closed doors. It's dark. It's a Friday night. Like yeah. 11 p.m., you're rolling in on a hot date. Central, I don't know. 11 yeah. p.m., hot date. I'm in bed. No dates um, for me at 11 p.m. But <laughs> so between, so that's why these would somewhere, be somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. Just, mm, so good. I see okay, it. let's ah! move on. Okay, okay, so we have three left here. Okay. We've, Let's um, do Moonflower. Okay, so this is going to be in the floral category. I'm going to be really curious to see what you think about this. And this one's inspired by like um, the Hollywood Hills, kind of night okay. blooming. Okay. Um, okay. And I love the Hollywood Hills. So I'm like, oh, yeah. 
because you didn't say I've been intrigued by this one. Now, floral side, but it's florally, not, but it is very balanced. This um, is what's not the flower I'm thinking of? It's a white flower. Jasmine. Yes. Yes. <laughs> that's it. Oh, it's like it grows in my backyard. But this one has this. I love this one because it's got a little bit of it's got a, like, warmth from cardamom. Yeah. Like think of like cardamom and like chai. Something like you go to smell the jasmine and something cuts it. Like, yeah. Cuts it in half. And there's airiness in it. It says cool air. It's got um, tuberose, moon flower. I can smell tu the tuberose. Jasmine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then it's got moss and patchouli. Uh, let me, so it's got some warm underbelly here. I like it's this. It's also got this cool. Like, Super cool. I put this over in the somewhere category. Yes. These are um, tux this. Canadian Tuxedo, Cosmic Cowboy, room number very Sex. deep, dark, sexy. Yep. In woody, a dark, woody, spicy. Somewhere and Moonflower. These are going to be on your like if you like Light. the lighter. Yep. I yep. I actually love both of these over here too. Like that. What if you put them together? Mm. Yeah, see, so you could come. I just think they're so strong on their own. Like yeah, they're so yeah. good on their own. Like I think this combo, the the magic. Yeah. Thing, right. These would be something I'd probably wear. Separately. Mm, okay. okay. Love that. Okay. Then we actually have a rose scent for those of you that are lovers of rose, um, which I actually do love rose. So this is Ray Rain Deange. This is like a ode to the city of angels. Um. Hmm. Turkish rose in here, saffron. This is a like it's interesting because it's got this freshness and sparkliness, but it also has this like kind of sexy, deeper like this goes in between. Mysterious. Like it's not super florally fresh, it's not super no. woodsy. It goes like right in the middle. Yeah, yeah. Right it's in the middle. Right. Somebody who likes a little bit of both. Yep. And you do need to like rose but it doesn't scream rose no no it's not you're like not, you're not a big or I don't i'm know. not a big rose person and um i yeah because i do like rose scents and i think this one's but i don't think it screams rose no because there's that it's list like, perfume that's rose oh yeah 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 that's rose yeah that's rose yeah that's like bright fresh rose. yeah this is like um sex yeah like decadent this has some decadence to it i think. this one is like 5 p.m no no <laughs> i like it i like 5 it. p.m Oh. It's starting to get dark. It is a little bit, more, it's dusk. That's got Angelica and Ambrette in here as well. So those tend to be a little bit green. Ambrette can also be a little bit clean, like mm -hmm. I feel like. I think there's and more clean than the base is patchouli, amber, vetiver, leather, and musk in that one. Mm -hmm. It's a really beautiful, like I, mm -hmm. I really like it. And I was trying to like put my uh, finger on like what it would smell like as far as other rose scents and the Turkish rose there's this jamminess in here but the, it's very unique that's what I would say is all of these are so unique, unique. they mm -hmm. don't I can't be like oh if you like Baccarat you're gonna like this it's not no really there's no, that... nothing Baccarat about any of these no 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 um, um, okay, so kay. this other one is Alone Together, and this is the one. What's it called? Alone Together, Alone. and this one is um, the citrus. So for those of you that love citrus. Ooh. You know what that <laughs> smells See, like? This is like? There's I'm orange like, blossom in here. Yeah, and like, Totally um, orange blossom. I was kind of like when you said yours was the, I was like, okay, wait, is oh, this Oh, now I need one? this one too. Um, Hold on, let me find that one. Okay, room number, here we are. Okay, mm. verbena. This has Peruvian yep. lime, but it's also got this pimento. So it's got a teeny bit of pink pepper, basil. Pimento. You know what this compares? Reminds me of, and I, and I, not even on a level of this, but for anybody who is a Joe Malone liker, yeah, there was that mixture that you used to mix orange blossom with something, and my friend, my sweet friend, oh um, she had the combo. And it was like a they layer because that's all about yeah, the layering of it. Was it the but this is like green one? No. Yeah, maybe there's an orange. orange I don't know. This is like ten times better than that though. <laughs> um, and this is gonna have you definitely mm. don't you? I was I wondered if you. These are my two. These and are my two. First, when I smelled somewhere, I was like, "Ooh, this is so citrusy," mm -mm. that I actually thought I had mis mixed up the two of these like I that's thought, real citrusy this but one, like but then so this good. one is like really fresh citrusy but it's definitely balanced like if you guys it's not going to have sometimes citrusy can be um too pledge like I like mm. the smell but that's this really, is so good 
See, that's all right. What now? What are the? What is the real? Um, and then it has a little bit of lavender in here. Vetiver. It's got patchouli. All of them have patchouli. I feel like all of them to a degree. Yeah. Oh, that's when she was like, I was like, sweetie, you do like patchouli, but that's okay. That's okay. I don't. This is what you're for. You're the expert. I'm no, just no. this lay person over here. I used to say, you here. guys, I used to say that myself too, even though like, you know, like half of my perfumes had it in there, you know, yeah. just like a little bit in here. But I also- Alone to together, my, so good. I also have to say like I had a, a roommate that I always laugh about, but she just wore patchouli oil, which Oof. I despise. Yeah. Um, and so it, like, I think that's where I was like, no, I don't like it. Um, so, mm. Okay, so now see which Okay, one. let's rank them for you. Okay. For, so for me, hands down, my top two are somewhere and alone together. Okay, so yes. So it's so funny, completely opposite. You're somewhere, but then you're alone, but maybe you're somewhere alone together. I'm, yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I love somewhere as well. I actually really um, think that Moonflower is really unique. It is unique. Um, it's, it's very. It's got this, this is not something I normally gravitate towards. It's got a sweetness to it, but I mean, I don't know. There's something. It's that, like Jasmine. It, yeah. Moon, it's, or was it's that moon? like Moonflower. Yeah. This I, is number three for me. Moonflower is number three for me. Okay. Then, somewhere. Yeah, do your ring. Somewhere alone together. Well, I'm not going to do it. And then Moonflower. Because these all, I don't want to say they start to be together. Room, yeah. Room number is just so different. It's see, I was really I love I, them. I actually was like, that's what I was curious about. Mm. I don't you rank them. What's yours? Uh, well, obviously I have the um the combo together of the Canadian um tuxedo cowboy and Canadian together is just like uh, I I mean I, I literally really you gotta put it on your skin. And yeah, love it. that's so good. Um and then I would do I'm between moonflower and somewhere. Like these are yeah. my next, like, yeah. and they're, those I, are my, next. I, yeah, those those are my are, first two. Um, and then I love a rose. Mm. Like, so I like the rose one and then room number, which I think is really like super sexy. There's something on it that made my skin, like I, for myself, there was like, um, I don't know, like, but it all smell different like, on people too. Yeah. Yeah. So like what it smells like on, as you wear it throughout the day is so different than maybe and then I do like alone together, but I would want to wait till I want that. Like summer. spring. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like for me, this would definitely be mm. something I would wear. Somewhere. Like <laughs> yeah, getting somewhere. on the website right now and buying this. It's so good. So, okay. It's so good. Okay. Okay. Ah, so, so we did our perfumes. Yes. What else is our favorite thing? We've been chit-chatting all the things about lately. Okay. Well, so we both are lip gloss. Makeup. Just yeah, all things. Yeah. And all so things. I'm a she actually you're more and the I would say you love the lip oils. Or like I do now, love the lip oils. Okay. I do. I, so I am a I love the lip maximizers. I love the lip oils too, but these are my obsession. Like if anybody's watched my channel, you've heard about my obsession with yep. that. And do anybody's you know, followed me, you yeah. know I do with the lippy of the day or yes, I she's, there's I have no room going to Sephora and buying more lip gloss this weekend. Let's just say that. Well, <laughs> but have so my favorites, if we, you know, we kind of did favorite perfumes here. Yeah. That. My favorite lip glosses, of course, number one, end all be all on a deserted island, Dior lip oil, hands down. Yeah, that's, that's like, right. if I had to only and take one. I do love those two. Yep. Um, I'd probably, if I had to take two, you're forcing me cherry and berry. Hands Jerry down. And, Barry. and I love the lip oils and I don't have them with me today because they stain your lips. They kind of stain yeah. your lips. So then throughout the day, that color builds. And then by like 5 p.m., it looks like you've got lipstick on. And, you know, it's not too much of a stain, though, but it's so. And I, love, I love raspberry. Oh, I love raspberry, too. I, 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 I you know, know, like berry and raspberry yeah. Yeah. Um, in the lip. Yeah, love. But if I had to go number two, so the other thing that I really, really like when it comes to lip glosses is very milky. So yeah. I love a milky texture. Now, everybody's lips have a different undertone to them. Some mm -hmm. people have a very bare lip that they're trying to really zhuzh up, like they're trying to put color onto their lip. I have a very pink lip that I feel like I like to milk down, tone down, mute down, not mute down as far as putting like a straight nude color on them, but I love anything that has a really, really milky texture to it. Ooh. And I will tell you hands down, 
Westman Atelier does the milk like yeah, no other. They, they just do so, so well at that. So I did purchase the Lip Gloss Vault and I've had so much fun playing with this. They have anything from, you know, clear shimmeries all the way up to really, really deep burgundies. Um, and then I also have a few of their just like, regulars that they've had. So my probably favorite hands down best Westman Atelier lip gloss is Petal. Love, oh yeah, love, love Petal. Love Petal um, is like, I have that one too. So it's just the perfect, perfect, I don't even want to say mauve, but like light it's pink. It's like not too Barbie doll pink. It's the no, perfect I don't even between, see any yeah. Barbie doll pink. No. It's like the perfect thing between a pink and no. a nude yeah. or a pink and like a milky. Yeah. But if you're going for milky and you want just that really really milky texture um a couple different ones so shushu and nana yeah shushu and have... nana are just perfection so i think this is That's... nana nana is a little bit more of that nude but again the so milk pretty. and it's it... milky that's a perfect milky one i love right there. but shushu is like the most hands down perfect literally little bit of light pink milk yeah so pretty so pretty i need so, to see the sparkles yeah <laughs> so of these so we have Highlight. let's see the gold here you do the gold sparkles ah. and i'll do the silver sparkles so Whoa. gold sparkles is called um oh, somebody's trying to call me uh parla parla Ooh. oh yeah so i have this in parla and they have a highlighter parla. oh yep there you go and then the silver sparkly is called snowy and so here's Ooh. the thing these are not like your daughter's lip glosses that, that have so glitter in them. Glitter is no. so different than shimmer. This is so gorgeous. Let's see. So mine, oh, see it's just, isn't that pretty? Ooh, and you guys, it has this like it, iridescent, it, yeah, iridescent, iridescent like kind of, can, oh, um, so pretty. And then let's see yours. Isn't that pretty? So good. Yep. So these are, if you are someone who just wants a good shimmer, shiny lippy without any color. Cause these are the ones that are like in there only in the vault. These yeah. You the can special... only get these in the vault. And I don't even know. I'm so glad you ordered this. Cause the vault I, sold I, out. Is the vault sold out? I don't know, but I had been like, Ooh, I kind of want the vault. Uh, <laughs> so now you I'm can like, just really, Ooh, let me see. Yeah, that's pretty. Is it just and they're so soft. So some people love a good sticky lip gloss. I'm not one of those people. No. I don't like stick, but these actually last. And so no, they feel it is not sticky, mm. very hydrating, and like I think so they, soft. Yeah, so perfection. That looks good. Okay. Now this one I love. If you're more on the pink end and you want to again tone down the pinkness of your lips, this one's called Biscuit. So Ooh. Biscuit is a not, that's like a cool beige. It's like it she's is. It's a really her, um, so she also has this face trace in biscuit. Like she's using mm -hmm, some of the mm -hmm. thing, and that's like a coffee toffee. Yep. But like look a, at there's like a teeny here. You can put a teeny teeny tiny bit of shimmer to it, ooh. but not shimmer like. You guys, this one is good. This is not good when you have two different videos going and you're trying oh. to compare. So so pretty. Different skin tones. Yeah, that's great to see different skin tones here. Okay. This is so that one's called Biscuit, which Biscuit is my favorite contour. So that's actually yeah. what I'm wearing today. And my contour is Biscuit. Yeah, Love it. Love, love Biscuit. It. Okay. We love Biscuit. Okay. And then we've got, this is one that I've been wearing a lot called Rudy Nudie. So Ooh. this would be if I were to take a milky pink and Biscuit and combine Merge them together, together to be the perfect situation of like a mauve Ooh. and a uh, nude. I love this one. So it's called Rudy Nudie. I've been wearing this one a lot and I want to compare it to Petal because to me, Petal is this kind of is that. This really good. So let's see the difference. This is Petal. So here is Petal. It's a little bit more of a pinky. Yeah. So Petal has a little bit more of a rosish pinky and then this is Rudy Nudie. I love so this. Rudy Nudie is good. Yeah. And I love Petal too, but this one. Yeah. Rudy Nudie. I have been reaching for that a lot lately. Yes. Grab that. You grab that. <laughs> you do that one. Oh, 
I, I right. can't read though because oh that one is eyeballs. is that the mabiche 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 or, or, okay but you guys this is gonna be a really bright fun yep. fun and I Ooh. have Lulu which is a really deep burgundy oh you guys this one is gonna be your like fun pop of color you know what but Ooh. I love how like it's, it's not sheer it's enough. sheer enough that you can but you can build it too oh, so this is it's pink. Oh, know, that is. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, I haven't even tried that one on the No, because when you look at it right here at first, I was like, this is your pop of red, but it's going to be pinky red. This it's one. Gorgeous. And then this. Ooh. Lulu. The Lulu. Is a very deep. I don't know what you call it. Burgundy brown. Yeah, that has some brown in it. That's like 90s, like a good 90s yeah. burgundy. You this need to wear this at 11 so p.m. when you're wearing room number. Room number. Oh, you that's what, what you wear that's together. What we, course, <gasps> we should totally mix our lippies and our perfume together. <laughs> yeah. Actually, how many? That is so true. Five, that, that, those so let's are... room number. Okay. If you wear room number, you wear Lulu. Yeah. With West yeah. Wind. Which one would be? Would this be somewhere? No. There... No, that would be. Um, that is Moonflower. Not Moonflower. Oh, um, yeah. oh. mm. mm. I yeah, kind of helps. Moonflower. Okay, I think you like, smell this it because this one's a little bit on the poppy. Yeah, yeah, poppy. I like that. Kind poppy. of your not orange red. It's not super orange red. Um, this one because this one's a little. Yeah, yeah. No. Okay. See, this is good. But well, this now, helps. I don't know about you guys, but the colors do help. So because I love Rudy Nudie so much, it's gonna yeah, go somewhere. with somewhere. Yeah, Rudy Nudie and somewhere because it's just. I don't know. I look at. My lip color is kind of basic. I, I'm more of a basic girl. That's why I have the same pair of pants in like 12 colors. <laughs> because I'm basic. I just wear the same. I, I do the same. Yes. So, yeah. And I always gravitate towards the same color of lippy. I do love to do go fun with lippy. Yeah, bright pink, something like that. Mm -hmm. But if you find me on the street, I'm going to be wearing something yeah. like Rudy and Nudie. My daughter left. She's like, you have the same lipstick color just in every brand. And yeah. I'm like, yeah. we all yeah. tend to yeah. gravitate to what, yeah. you know, looks best. And, yep. I love that. But so, so, so fun. So I would take these kind of shimmers yeah. and they would be like your cowboy and your, your, your Canadian, Canadian tuxedo. Yeah. That's what it would be because they would go together really well. Yep. yep. But uh, then they're fun on their own. Oh, oh. I love that. That is so good. And then what's our last? That was the one. Well, did the burgundy. Well, then we have the the biscuit. Biscuit would be. Could put it. I can't even pronounce that one. What was that one? That rain. Oh, you know what? That might be also the um, rain de ange. I rain believe. De ange. I like the ode to the city of angels. Yeah. I know. So. Um, so yeah. Then, so oh, go ahead. Oh yeah. And then the Dior. So here's what I would say about the Dior. I. Absolutely love Westman. I absolutely love Dior. Dior just reformulated. Yes. So if you're one of those like me that has I have like all, all of the yeah. masks, so yeah. what did they reforce? Change in it? Do we know? I did think they, they made it? them a little bit more um, using more pigments, a little more pigmented. And they did intense pigments. And oh, they, they did, yeah. And they also made them a little cleaner, I believe, like a little bit more. Okay. okay. Um, you know, they used some more cleaner ingredients. Yes. Okay. Yeah. But, but they're not going to be Westman Atelier. So. Yes. <laughs> um, so my favorites, what are your favorites by the Dior? The new lip maximizers. Well, I'm telling everybody, you guys, I'm obsessed. Did you get that? Yeah, yet? I did because okay. you made me. I made her get it, but I love this freaking lavender. It's called um, Holo Lavender. Yeah, Holo Holographic Lavender. You put it on things too because uh, I have the... Uh, I love it so much and I feel like everybody needs it. If anybody loved that Clay de po Lavender lipstick back in the day. But it's it not like a, purple on your lips. That's what uh, bye, sweetie. Bye, Mandy. Uh, we love you. Okay, so it's not too purpley. It's got a little. It's not too um, iridescent. Yeah. No, it's like the. It's almost like it's the perfect. Westman. It's, it's like. Mm. So this is my obsession: lavender, and then I like intense mauve. Mauve. We were like, oh yeah, tomato, tomato. I say mauve. She says mauve. Yeah, I like it. I know. That is really pretty too. But I love this one too. So How did you one? compare to Petal? Yeah, let's see. That's a good one because that's like a. Good... It almost looks. Oh, a little bit. Mm. Oh, a little you bit know, deeper. I wonder if it's Rudy, Nudy. Mm. Here we go. No. We'll try to compare it to Rudy Nudy. Nope, no, no. Mm. It kind of has its own. It's like so just okay. totally different. The middle. This one is the intense mauve. This one is Petal, and then the um, Rudy Nudy. Rudy Nudy. Yep. Okay. 
And so then for me, yeah, so what did you get? My lotion? favorites, I no, I got lavender. Polo lavender, and then I got berry. Oh, I love because berry. Yes. I love berry from the lip oil. I love berry, and it looks purple. People would look at this and say, "I'm not going to put it's that on my lips most because it's so just color." Yeah, it's not though. It just is the most perfect kind of. I don't know. How would you explain Barry? Um, so yeah, because Barry, I have it in the older version, mm -hmm. but that's like my old, I think it's my favorite. I think um, it is. It's just it's a lot little bit more. It's not too pink and it's not too like not deep. Purple. It looks yeah. like purple here, but it is just, I mean, it, that's it. But yeah. It, like in raspberry, you think that you want, if you think you want raspberry, you actually want berry. berry. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't you say that? Yeah. Yeah. Raspberry has more of a red tone to it. Yes. Than it is. Yes. So. Okay. We've <laughs> taken up a lot of time. We did 40 <laughs> minutes of talking about perfume. Um, okay. So and, we hope, and I will be sure to list everything that we talked about after our live here today, but we just thought this would be fun to get together because we, um, it's kind of the same thing. Like we talk <laughs> about this all day. We're text messaging. Maybe other people want to join in on our chit chat. Yeah. Of what we like. Yeah. What we don't like. So. Um, so thank you guys so much. Yes. And guess what? Happy, happy Monday. The sun is glorious outside, even though it's cold. Thank goodness. I don't um, care. I'll take the sun. Yeah. Sun. We we love it here. I'm going to put on my shades. And dry them yeah. Out. I was going to say, where's my perfume? I'm going to, I'm just going to sit here and smell my somewhere all day until I get online. There's our alarm to yeah. stop. Um, so, you guys, ah, oh, we love you guys. Thank you, Cal Maya. Hello, you guys. If you guys enjoy this, we kind of thought about making this a regular thing, just coming together maybe once a month, once every couple months of pulling together our favorite things because between the two of us, we know we've purchased um, our fair share in products. Um, um, and it's fun to share. Like, it's fun to bring things and all that. So, yeah. yeah and I, I think, think yeah. She is such, she's so good at perfume. She's like the professional. And then I'm this just random lay person no, who I, you it, sucked me into the world of perfume. <laughs> well, she, well, no, I think it's fun, but I'm laughing because I'm really not. It just, yes, I, I'm a little bit older than you. So I've had a few more years on you. <laughs> smelling Like three, like three. <laughs> <I know. laughs> and so, but I'm just so glad when we have a little fun. Yeah having sharing our obsession and passions and it sounds like you guys do we love to you know these are all our peeps that are like us yes so, um thank you guys happy so monday we'll yes. talk to you soon bye let's see how do we end this then